What's going on guys? Sid here. I uh, got some stuff to show you. Uh, one piece of mail for last week. Uh, that came in on Saturday. That's it. But it is a TTM, which is my first TTM in probably two or three weeks. Uh, definitely two weeks. It's been my first TTM in at least two weeks. I got some pickups here. Uh, first real quick, go over uh, a couple birthday presents I got in. Uh, I got these nice new shoes. These are FUBU's. Uh, my wife got these for me for my birthday. Uh, and she also got this wallet, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this is actually from the comic book company IDW. This is their title, Zombies. This is actually the the wallet from that, so that's pretty cool. If y'all can see that. So probably my best birthday present besides the, the shoes. So thank you very much, Carrie, for that birthday present. Uh, went out uh, yard sailing this past Saturday. Um, all this stuff you see here I got uh, from one uh, person. Yard sales are pretty sparse. I didn't want to go too far out of town. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot of stuff here. Oh, actually, no. There, This stuff is from um, two different yard sales. Um, first up, we got a signed cassette tape here. This is from Susie Luxinger. Um, and that was her married name, but her name, her real name is actually uh, Susie McIntyre. She is the sister of Paik McIntyre and the famous Reba McIntyre. Um, let me this out of here. There's a cassette tape there. Uh, this is a Christian country album. I don't know if you can see this, but it is inscribed there at the top. Uh, looks like to Leo, Jesus loves you, and she signed it right there, Susie. I don't know it's hard to see. Apologize for that. Um, so that's pretty cool. That was 50 cents. Uh, then we got this. This is a 24 karat gold finish um, Christmas ornament. That's a paddle boat there. The original price of it, $9.95, paid 50 cents for it. Just because it thought it looked cool. Got this VHS on uh, railroads. This is the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. Um, 60 minutes. Like railroads. So I picked that up. And this is from the other yard sale. This is from 1979 from Tommy or Tommy. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, this is Atomic Arcade Pinball. Did not come with batteries, so I had to go buy batteries. I tested it and it works. Um, you can see it lighting up there. It does have that, it's like it's stuck, um, but it does work when you play it. So it just needs a little bit of TLC to get it working perfectly. I uh, gave two dollars for that. That's pretty cool. Not worth a whole lot, but two bucks for an arcade pinball machine in the box. I will do it all day long. So those are my pickups there. We'll get to this piece of mail here. Um, this one took forever. Uh, this is coming from John Blue. This is California, Costa Mesa, California. This is part of my, um, if you guys remember, this is part of my uh, Players Turn Pastors project. Uh, this is former uh, professional sports players turn pastors. This is John Blue. He was a former NHL hockey player. So, crack this open here. He actually emailed me and told me that he was finally sending this uh, this photo. And there it is right there. Inscribed right there, John Blue, number 39. Very, very nice 8x10 photo here. So real, real happy. 
happy to get that. Very nice addition to the sports PC collection. So very happy with that. So very cool. Got a few things. Um, hope you enjoy, guys. We'll talk to you later. See you.